there is a dictum for the non-violent soldier of freedom. Do or die. Mahatma Gandhi spoke about India of the future, a glorious dream of a glorious leader. He did not dream of untold wealth for a few. Instead, at the center of Gandhiji's vision lay the welfare of the common man. He prayed that independent India would see that dream realized. In such a paradise, there will be neither paupers nor beggars, neither millionaire employers nor half-starred employees, neither intoxicating drinks nor drugs. There will be the same respect for women as vouchsafed to men. There will be no untouchability and there will be equal respect for all faiths. They will be all proudly, joyously, and voluntarily bred laborers. If there is paradise on earth, it is here, it is here, it is here. The Golden Jubilee of India's independence was celebrated with much pomp and glitter. But what could be the best tribute to the father of the nation? Indeed, none other than the fulfillment of his fond dream. Paropakaraya satam vibhutaya Today, one can proudly say that in a small village of Maharashtra called Ralegan Siddhi, Bapu's dream has been realized. More than 300 villages are now on their way to sharing the success story of Raligan Siddhi. The legend behind this remarkable achievement is Kisan Babu Hazare, now known to millions as Anna. In the otherwise dry and drought-ridden sector of North Maharashtra, Raligan Siddhi comes as a pleasant surprise. In contrast to its neighboring villages, Ralegan Siddhi has lush green surroundings. It also has water, a rare commodity, stored in reservoirs. Till just a few years ago, Ralegan Siddhi was in the clutches of drought, poverty and unemployment. Today, the village is on the world map epitomizing cent per cent local empowerment. It is often cited as a role model of sustainable development. The main thrust of Anna Hazare's development strategy was a twin program, water management and watershed development. The development program also included economic, social and cultural aspects. Locally achievable solutions like installing biogas plants, creating grain banks and offering voluntary labor gave a new dimension to the concept of village development. Anna Hazare's single-minded dedication transformed what had seemed to be impossible obstacles into incredible achievements. This strong-willed man with earnest eyes and a ready smile is known for his forthrightness. Anna in Marathi means elder brother and Anna Hazare has truly proved to be that to all his fellow villagers. Kisan Babu Hazare was born on 15th January 1940 in the small village of Bhingar. Kisan's father was employed in a local pharmacy near Ahmednagar. His grandfather served in the military. When Anna was only five years old, 
his grandfather passed away. As a result, his family had to face a severe financial setback. The young Kisan could not continue his education after the seventh standard. He dropped out of school. At the tender age of 14, Kisan Hazare went to work to supplement the family income. His aunt encouraged him to come to Mumbai. Here, he worked for a florist for a meager salary of 40 rupees a month. But then, life took an unexpected turn. Kisan decided to join the army. His first posting was in Ambala, Punjab, as a truck driver. During his tenure in the army, he had little idea about what lay in store for him in the future. दिल्ली स्टेशन वरती बुक स्टॉल वरती स्वामी विवेकानंदन से एक चित्र आकर्षक वाटले उन्होंने एक पुस्तक खरीद के लिए वाचायला सुरुवात केली जीवनाचा धागा आताशी आला आणखी वाचत गेलो विवेकानंद तो तो जीवनाचं कोडे उलगडत गेलो काय समजलं एकच गोष्ट समजली की प्रत्येक मानवाला जीवन मिळालं ते सेवेसाठी मिळालेलं आहे आणि त्याच वेळेला एकोणीसशे पासष्ट भारत आणि पाकिस्तानचं युद्ध झालं ज्योरिंग द इंडिया पाकिस्तान वॉर he witnessed intense firing and continuous bombardment. Anna saw the horror and destruction of war. He faced the trauma bravely. But at the end of it all, Hazare now says, he realized the worth of life. This was to prove the turning point. Anna considered his miraculous survival as a blessed event almost akin to a rebirth. Thus, destiny dramatically brought him back to his native place, Ralegan Siddhi. Anna was then about 40 years old, and he decided to devote his remaining life to the welfare of the villagers. He was there with a promise of reform and revolution. Anna Hazari, went to work with zest. Thoughtfully, selecting a cause that was dear to all villagers, he first undertook to renovate the damaged temple of Yadav Baba. Anna donated his entire provident fund, a then princely sum of 20,000 rupees for the renovation. He himself started staying in a room in the backyard of the temple. Every evening, he used to talk to the villagers. He would hear their problems and try and find solutions. But some problems do not have simple answers, like poverty, unemployment, and to top it all, severe water scarcity. Anna's sense of concern made him think deeply about these grave problems. He soon realized that the most important problem was the lack of any facility to store water after the rains. Water meant life. Anna decided to concentrate on the water question. He etched out a plan. The villagers helped him to execute this novel plan. They built Gabian buns and Nala buns. They dug trenches. The aim was to save every drop of water that fell from the sky. Within a few years, as Hazare had rightly foreseen, Ralegan Siddhi's water problem was solved. It was a remarkable feat. Till this time, Anna Hazare was able to motivate only some of the villagers to the cause of village development. He was also vehemently opposed by many others. Kahi lokanchi pratishta kami hona raste, ashe manasa virudala uvyasat. Kahi manasa nza kala bazar kami hona rasto, ti manasa virud karal uvyasat ki majhe kala bazar se kaya hona. काही पाटील माणसं असतात त्यांना वाटत असतं की उद्या जर गाव चांगलं झालं तर मला पाटील कोण म्हणणार ते विरोधाला उभे राहतात अशा सुरुवातीला विरोध अनेक प्रकारचा होतो 
अशा वेला अपमान सहन करना की शक्ति फार गए It took a good four years to unite all the villagers and gear them up to the new challenge. Once the water problem was solved, many more people resorted to farming. Almost everybody got some work related to agriculture or village industry. The long-standing problem of unemployment was thus resolved. Meanwhile, Anna was closely working with the villagers, engrossed in solving other problems like cattle feed and alcoholism. He was focusing on the betterment of living conditions. In a visionary move, he encouraged villagers to start a dairy and then a grain bank. Next, proper sanitation and bore wells were made available to everyone the villagers now worked cohesively to achieve this biogas plants were established for daily fuel needs this helped to curtail the cutting down of trees anna strived hard to improve health and hygiene Today health facilities are available to all the villagers. From the start itself Hazare did not rely totally on government aid to implement development programs. He succeeded in motivating people to work harmoniously. The collective effort brought benefits to all. Because of his encouragement Now nearly everybody volunteers for some cause. Besides solving major economic problems, Hazare tried to improve social conditions as well. He worked ceaselessly to remove untouchability. He blotted out demeaning customs of the past. Anna Hazare could bring about this change in the village. because he has definite and clear cut ideas of sustainable development he also has a fierce determination to implement these ideas unso unso imarat ubha karna ha khara vikas nahi ye imarat hi amala ja mansancha sort ubha karaycha ti mansa ubhi hona far garche hai santanne jo vishwa shanti cha prayatna kela vishwa shanti kashi il talal tane hez vichar samaja samor thevle te कि विश्वास घटक है देश देशा घटक है गाँव और गावाच मूल पुरुष है मणूस जोपर्य मणूस बदलत नहीं तोपर्य खेड़ी बदलत नहीं खेड़ी बदलत नहीं तोपर्य देश बदलना नहीं और देश बदलत नहीं तोपर्य विश्वास शांति आना नहीं मनु आम विका जी प्र जी व्याख्या है ती है कि मणूस कसा बदले मनु आम्मी लक्ष केन्द्रित करो तो मणसावरती कि मैं मजा सा जगत आता मज़ा शेजारी मज़ा गाँव मज़ा समाज मज़ा देश हि सामाजिक बधलकी जी जाण मणस कशी तो खरा विकास है आ रागंज स्थिति में प्रयोग करता तो ये कि दलित लोक है तना साठ हज़ार रुपयाच कर्ज फिटत नहीं सर्व गाँव दमीन पर श्रमदान कराए गए पिक काड़ी आ दलित साठ हज़ार रुपयाच बैंके कर्ज गाँवक फेड़ कि आज आप पहात कि बावीस लाख रुपया की इमारत शाड़ी की एक रुपया को घेता गाँवक ने अपने श्रमत उ Today Anna is a mentor to thousands of villagers and followers. In his epic journey of village development, he has passed many milestones. In recent years, honors felicitations and awards have also come his way. His efforts have at last been recognized. Finally, it took the form of government recognition as well. The Padma Shri and the Padma Bhushan were conferred on him. He was also awarded the Vrukshamitra Puraskar and the Krushi Bhushan Puraskar for his pioneering work in saving forests and farms. Since the 1980s, Anna Hazare has been in the limelight. 
The state and national media have both covered his work extensively. Over the years, Hazare has earned the reputation of being a devout man. That his work is held in high esteem by the public at large is evident from the numerous invitations that he receives from various institutions and social organizations. Anna has cut through the barriers of caste and creed. People from all walks of life respect him. The pioneer from Raligan Siddhi today travels widely. He believes in sharing his experiences and knowledge. Over the last 10 years, Anna Hazare has visited hundreds of villages and scores of cities in India. His contribution has also been recognized abroad. Care International has honored him with an award. Wherever he goes, Anna Hazare enjoys a warm welcome, especially in the villages. The VIP treatment they extend to Hazare signifies the farmer's love and trust for this new messiah. As the news of his arrival spreads, people from nearby villages flock to the place. They stand by the roadside, waiting in the hope of catching a glimpse. Men and women of all ages are eager to meet him. In Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Gujarat, the reception is the same. Yet Hazare has not let his newfound status or his frequent traveling come in the way of his development program. For he has trained the villagers and believes firmly in imparting leadership to others as well. In fact, a training center has been started for that very purpose in Raligan Siddhi. B.Sc. and M.Sc. student volunteers as well as engineers are trained for six months. For many years, Anna strived assiduously to make the village totally self-sufficient. While accepting government aid to some extent, he also realized the corruption in government institutions. Thereafter, he bitterly criticized the malpractices. Seeing that his criticism was proving futile, he launched a crusade against corruption. To press home his demands, Anna Hazare went on an indefinite fast. News of the fast spread like wildfire. Quite dramatically, the government was forced to set up a committee to inquire into the corruption charges. Anna Hazare perhaps knew that the path he had chosen was full of obstacles. Predictably, the persons targeted by him filed a defamation suit. Unable to defend himself, the messiah of Raligan Siddhi was jailed. Unwilling to apologize for what he believed to be true, Anna stuck to his guns. Hazare's imprisonment resulted in massive public outrage. Thousands of supporters staged protests in front of the jail. Soon, Anna Hazare's imprisonment became a terrible embarrassment for the government. Unnerved by the public outpouring of support for Anna, the government ordered his release. Not just that. Subsequently, the court ordered that Anna Hazare's name as a prisoner, be deleted from the jail records. 
It was a triumph of the prisoner of conscience. Anna's major focus nowadays is on ensuring a proper upbringing for the children because they represent the future generation. That is why Anna places tremendous faith in education. Never neglecting the importance of education, he started an institute for teaching in the early 80s. For him, education not only means learning the three R's, but also learning how to behave in society, to understand one's social and moral responsibilities. His novel institution at Ralegan Siddhi, equipped with full-fledged hostel facilities, set a new trend by admitting those children who had failed in school examinations. Anna accepted the challenge and soon proved that these children too could prove competent. At the institution, they learn the value of keeping the premises clean. They also learn the dignity of labor. Above all, Anna Hazari is respected for his integrity, moral uprightness and sheer devotion to the cause. When he was in the army, his spirit was nurtured by a sense of patriotism. Subsequently, he followed Swami Vivekananda's teachings, firmly believing in simple living and high thinking. Anna's philosophy of life is founded on sacrifice. Raligan Siddhi, with its verdant green surroundings, its water reservoirs and its happy villagers, bears testimony to the effectiveness of one man's Herculean undertaking. Simple, clear-cut and diverse aspects of developments are attributes worth learning from Anna Hazari. Despite achieving national acclaim, he remains simple. The grand old pioneer's routine for the day is fixed. He gets up early and exercises. He eats lightly and works hard. For Hazari, making the most of his social and spiritual talents is the only goal. Publicity, he affirms, was never his aim. For him, being true to his conscience is the only acid test. The landmark agricultural experiments started by Anna Hazari are catching up in nearby states of Maharashtra. Today, he has thousands of followers. To all of them, he is available, offering invaluable guidance. Significantly, however, his focus remains the younger generation that will shape tomorrow's world. Under Anna's guidance, they can certainly hope for a promise-filled tomorrow.